Marvel's upcoming Phase 5 is set to finally conclude the Phase 4 Disney Plus shows in a way that has not been done before. So how will they do it? Also, a hidden superhero squad is apparently hiding in Phase 5, according to information about the cast in an upcoming MCU film. But what will be their function? Stay tuned to find out all the need-to-know details. First up, MCU Phase 5 will finally pay off the TV shows we have seen debut in Phase 4. Here's what you need to know. What direction is the Marvel Studio film universe taking? Well, beginning in 2023, Phase 5 of the MCU will see the first films that begin to correlate to all the Disney Plus television series we have seen debut in Phase 4. With the multiverse saga, stories previously presented in television series like Ms. Marvel, The Falcon, and The Winter Soldier will be expanded in the movies in Phase 5 through films and series like The Marvels, Captain America New World Order, and Thunderbolts. There will also be more crossovers and a focus on the saga's continuous story in the MCU's post-pandemic era, instead of telling the disjointed, disconnected episodes we saw happen in Phase 4. Some Phase 4 movies have already been featured, including Black Widow, Hawkeye, WandaVision, and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Still, many more Marvel crossovers between the television series and the motion pictures in Phases 5 and 6 have already been hinted at. How exciting, right? So, what do we currently know? Well, we know that Kang the Conqueror will play a crucial part in Phase 5's first movie, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which also ties closely to Phase 4, where he who remains in Loki, a variation of Kang, was first introduced. So, what if Season 2 is set to have episodes that feature Phase 4 characters and storylines, tying them into Phase 5? Additionally, because a scroll visits Monica Rambeau in the post credits scene of WandaVision to take her to space, Secret Invasion will likely connect to the Marvels. Additionally, Riri Williams, the MCU's replacement for Iron Man, will make her screen debut as Ironheart in Black Panther Wakanda Forever's Phase 4 finale before making her debut in her own series in the fall of 2023, which is also a part of Phase 5. And lastly, Marvel fans can look forward to Thunderbolts, which is anticipated to be the pinnacle of Phase 5 and feature heroes from Phase 4 like Red Guardian and John Walker. Now, it's clear that Marvel Studios will have more time to ensure that their tales are fully developed and can relate to other MCU properties due to Blade's delay and how it will affect the Phase 5 slate. It will aid in the continuity of the multiverse saga and may result in the most original phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe to date, we hope. While on the topic of Phase 5, according to various online sources, there is a secret superhero team ready to come to light in the next MCU phase. But who could it be? According to Marvel's intentions for the upcoming slate of movies and series, at least two Marvel comic superhero teams will come to light in 2023. It appears they are hiding in the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Everything that Marvel revealed at San Diego Comic-Con proves that the company intends to add new super-powered hero teams to the MCU. Now, Marvel has at least three more projects in the works, in addition to adding the Eternals to the mix in Phase 4. As if the Thunderbolts, Guardians, Avengers, and Eternals weren't enough, there could be even more teams in the multiverse saga portrayed in Phase 5. In fact, Marvel has eight available seats that have yet to be filled, so even more new teams and characters would appear over the following several years, even though it did announce a crowded schedule for Phases 5 and 6. But what's fascinating is that an unnamed superhero squad from the multiverse saga seems to be in one of Phase 5's upcoming projects. Who? It has officially been reported that the highly anticipated Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 will have at least two original squad members. Martin X's return has also been hinted at, therefore it has been known for some time that Stallone will return as well. In addition, regardless of whether Alita, Charlie 27, and the others appear, their participation in the film provides the original Guardians significant representation in Phase 5 because the second Guardians of the Galaxy film's post credit scene made their squad active once again. Marvel may finally have a chance to address the initial Guardians of the Galaxy tease from the second film and potentially shed some light on what they have been up to for the past few years, thanks to their participation in the new film. The group might also support Star-Lord and various others in their fight against the High Evolutionary. Furthermore, there is no reason why Stakar and Martin X should be the only members of the team that appear in the film. Krugar, Mainframe, and Charlie 27 may all easily return for more cameos due to the groundwork provided by Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Also, remember that when Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 converted them to the MCU, it left out some significant members of the original squad from the OG comics. So this means that many of the group's Marvel characters have the potential for a cameo appearance in the third film. Now, speaking of Phase 5, it is fast approaching, so here are some of the first releases you can expect. The multiverse saga of the MCU will continue in Phase 5, which officially debuts in February 2023. After the release of Black Panther Wakanda 
Forever, the Ant-Man Holiday Special will serve as the end of Phase 4 and the beginning of Phase 5, so here is some important information you need to know about Marvel's fifth phase, including the release dates and the cast members who have been confirmed as of 2022. First up, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is set to be released in February 2023. Phase 5 will start with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. The upcoming movie is anticipated to shed additional light on the crucial quantum realm. It will also mark Jonathan Major's first formal appearance as Kang, the main antagonist of the multiverse saga, and the debut of Cassie Lang, played by Catherine Newton, Scott Lang's daughter, as a new young hero. Although we know plenty about what new stories Ant-Man 3 will introduce, there is still a lot we need to learn. Kang's appearance allows for a complete line of the villain's alternate personas who might appear anywhere in the MCU. Another significant Marvel adversary will be featured in the movie, MODOK, and so as you can imagine, this will be a very pivotal story for the MCU and the multiverse. Next up, Secret Invasion. Secret Invasion, starring Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury, will follow an alien invasion by the Skrull, a race of shape-shifting creatures that can adopt the appearance of anyone they encounter. The show's name is a controversial allusion to a crucial Marvel Comics event that revealed important heroes and public personalities have been Skrull deep cover spies for years as part of a scheme to conduct a planet-sized coup against Earth. The MCU version of Secret Invasion has the potential to similarly upend everything, from the situation on Earth to what is happening in the cosmos. Secret Invasion may also mark the franchise's turning point before the Marvels arrive later in the year. Next up, Guardians of the Galaxy, the trilogy, coming on May 5, 2023. With this movie, James Gunn will conclude his Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy, and the cast and crew are making it clear to fans that this is the end. The High Evolutionary, Chikuti Awuji, and Adam Warlock, Will Poulter, two important cosmic figures introduced in Guardians 3, are the first examples of a potential pattern that could emerge in Phase 5. This pattern involves strong antagonists emerging in ways that our heroes might need to prepare for. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 will leave a hole in the universe and our hearts, regardless of who survives and who ultimately perishes. Ms. Marvel will also be debuting next year as a part of Phase 5, and it will be available on July 28, 2023. A new trio of cosmically powered superheroines will join the Ms. Marvel TV series and the Captain Marvel movie franchise. Monica Rambeau of WandaVision will assist in this endeavor. There are no confirmed plot lines as of right now, although Ms. Marvel leaves us with a connection between Carol Danvers, played by Brie Larson, and Kamala Khan, played by Iman Vellani, allowing play switching. The Marvels may have some severe Kree scroll drama to resolve, and as a result, the Cosmic Order may undergo a significant upheaval based on other projects like Secret Invasion. Finally, Blade is a new Marvel film coming in Phase 5. The post credit scene of Moon Knight and Eternals provided hints about the Marvel Knight's otherworldly side, but we know that Blade will serve as the true gateway to everything. Blade could be a crucial dark horse story whose relevance we still need to fully comprehend, depending on if or when Marvel releases Moon Knight Season 2. You'd expect Blade to debut on our screens in November 2023. Now, of course, we are just scratching the surface of Phase 5, as there are plenty more additions we didn't have time to mention, but which film or series are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments below. Unfortunately, guys, that is all the time we have for today, so make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and as always, thanks for watching.